whiskey and you wanna sugar in your tea. What's all this crazy question they're asking me? This is the craziest party that could ever be. Don't turn on the lights, cause I don't wanna see. I'm not told me that's come. Barbara Music here. Today we are talking about Mama Told Me by Three Dog Night. This song is really fun to play, so I'm excited that you're watching this video. Um, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel, or if you already have, thank you, and please share it with uh, anybody you think might be interested. Got a ton of, ton of cool stuff on there um, that I think you'll enjoy. So, Let's zoom in and talk about how to play this song. So there's only three parts to this song, okay? The first one, well, I guess four. <laughs> there, there's the ending, right, which is a little different. But there's the main part of the song when they're kind of talk singing. Starts on the fourth fret of your E string, okay? And then it goes to five and six on the A. So it's four, five, six, six. And then after that, only the first time does it start on four. The rest of the time it goes from three to four. And that's that main riff. It gets played over and over again during the verse when, when they're talking basically. So three, four. First time around is four, five, six, six, and then it's three, four, five, six, six. Okay, so anytime there's the verse, that's all we're doing. For the chorus, we're going to walk through the scale a little bit with this cool riff. So it starts with four on E, and then we're going to play three, four, five, and 
and six on the A string, and then four and six on the D. Now I went fast. I'll show you what the actual riff is. Oops, don't do that. Okay, so four, three, three, four, four, five, six, four, six, and it's really like a hammer on at the end, um, or um, or a hammer on at the end of the riff. So, boom. Okay, so twice it has that rhythm. The third time around it starts out the same. And then a real quick hammer on. And then back to the first note. So I'm gonna play that whole thing. I'll do it regular speed and then I'll do it slow. Here's the slowed down version of it. Third time. Like the way that I found. Okay. And then after that, it'll go back to the verse. just like we practiced before. Okay, and then another chorus, right? So verse, chorus, verse, chorus, um, back and forth, really until the end of the song, okay? The very end of the song. So it'll either be the verse or the chorus. And the chorus is usually only those three times, like I showed you. So let's do, let's say, four of the verse into the chorus. This is two three, four, chorus, third time, finding the way that I found, right, and then back into the verse. Okay, so far that's like 90% of the song. <laughs> okay, so the only thing that we're missing, or things, there's two, um, is that um, the chorus at the end, there's this other riff that they do. It's basically going between the same notes, but they kind of change it up a little bit. So it starts on four. You'll see that I'm starting on four on the E. And then I'm walking up from one to four on D. So it's. Okay, so I'm gonna do that again real slow. Four, four, one, two, three, four. Bum, 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 bum. And then we're gonna play one more four on the A and then one on the E. So. Okay. And then from there, there's a little bit of a pause. You hang on that one. And then we go two, three, four very quickly on the E. So I'm going to play that riff all the way through fast and then slow. Okay, and now I'm going to do that same thing, but I'm going to slow it down. Okay, so again, same thing, real slow. Four, four, one, two, three, four, four, one. And then one, two, three, four. And this riff, again, it only happens at the end of the song where it'll be like, 
you know, guitar solo and people are singing, ain't no way that I found, no, right? That whole section. So it goes in between that riff and then the regular chorus riff that we were playing. So I'm going to play like four of that new riff and then four of the regular chorus riff kind of back and forth. There's two, three, four. And then here's chorus riff one. here you can tell by looking at my hands and you also be able to tell in the song when they're doing one or the other because there's that little stall and I think they do no that ain't the way that I found no or so whatever they're saying <laughs> lyrics is not my uh, strong suit more of a bass guy okay um, but that is all we have to do for those um, parts at the end and the only thing we're missing is um, there is the very ending of the song where they kind of walk up this scale a little bit. Um, and <laughs> I'm not ashamed to admit that I think the bass actually probably does the walk up. I just did the walk down um, probably because I missed it or I didn't want to screw it up. <laughs> so we're going from four to six, to seven, all on the E string, and then three on the A. Or you could do four, six, two, three, either one. That's the same note. So, and then you'll hear it does the walk down. Six, four. Three, two, so. And then it ends on four, six, seven, three, or four, six, two, three. So I think, you know, you hear the piano do ba 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 ba, and I think the bass actually comes in on the da da da. the end of the tune and you'll see I actually only played bum 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 <laughs> okay forgive me <laughs> so cool that's everything thank you thanks again for tuning in everybody um, there should be some other cool videos uh, on my channel that you might enjoy one's probably popping up right about now ish or soon um, so please check out some of my other stuff like subscribe share Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Happy basin.